One of the primary reasons I got the Apple Vision Pro is to use with my MacBook Pro. And I wanted to demonstrate to you guys what you can actually do with it. It's not quite like I expected, but it is still pretty cool. So the way that you connect to it is you look up and you select your, your I guess your notification panel, your menu, and then you're going to go, I call control center. Um, and then you're gonna to go to the icon that says Mac virtual display. And you basically just select that. That's one way to do it, where you do that way. The other way to do it is to, while you're using the computer, you just look at the computer and then right above the display, you'll see a button that says connect. And now it's connected. So you just grab the screen, you can manipulate it. I could actually place it right in front of the computer monitor so that it feels natural, which is really, really cool. I actually like doing this a lot more than doing it as a really large screen, mostly because if I do this, then I can kind of simulate my same size display, a pretty close resolution, and then I can have other things over here. Right, and then I can have something over here. And then I could have something over here. And also I can go ahead and have my final cut right here. Now I'm looking around and I can have all my windows open and I'm still using this MacBook. It still feels like I'm using this MacBook and I'm able to see my keyboard for my shortcuts and everything. I, I love this, but I don't use it like this most of the time. I'm a very singular focused person. So I usually only have one thing up at a time. And then what I do is I will go into immersion mode. But the problem is this. So while this is awesome, I can't really see my keyboard. I wish there was a way to kind of, I don't know, bring the keyboard into the immersion space. So it looks like I'm at a desk maybe in this environment. That would be really cool because right now this immersion is really good, but I, I can't really see like my you know, my shortcuts or anything. So like, watch this, I can move this up, I can make it bigger. And then now I can look at my timeline and move things just like I need to. And another thing is that the audio comes through the speakers and I can't figure out how to push the sound through the Vision Pro. So, no, I don't know. If you guys know how to do that, let me know down in the comments.